friends today we are going to learn through this video a simple technique to find out high water and low water timings that means tight timings and these tight timings are estimated tight tight timings anywhere any part of the world and in hindi we call it jwar aur bhata ya bharti aur ohti so these timings with a simple technique which is traditionally used by our fishermen indian fishermen and specially gujarati uh, fishermen gujarati bhai so they have taught me this technique and i am going to i am going to share this with you so that all the mariners and the seafarers can have this simple technique and knowledge to at least know when the high water is going to be there and when the low water is going to be there let them be in any part of the world so let us see this what it is very important role is played by the tides that is rising and falling of water in the coastal areas in the nature and it has major effect on marine activities the ocean waters will rise and fall in coastal areas without fail every day at regular intervals and this is universal truth so this rising of water lowering of water falling of water is not going to stop aur ye sadiyon se chalti aa rahi hai aa rahi prakriya hai ki jwar aur bhata bharti and ohti okay tides are occurring due to the forces exerted by the moon and sun that everybody or all mariners know that tides are or originating in the ocean and the effect is seen on the coastal areas with rise and fall of water level at coast okay when the of the waves crest of the waves they reach shore then we say it is high water and the low tide occurs or corresponds to lowest water level which is called as trough and that is how these tides are forming and they are forming every day without fail so two high waters two low waters keep on occurring every day at almost gap of 6 6 hours or intervals of 6 hours so high water then low water again high water again low water the information about tides is very important to all the seafarers it is not only mariners means nautical officers require to have this tide timings and knowledge of tides it is even engineers also can make use of this tide timings high water low water or even the crew people or even every seafarer on board whoever is sailing whoever is going to see he can make use of this knowledge of high water low water sometimes for his ordinary work or sometimes during emergency now let's see normal work okay as we know that nautical officers are using high water low water because berthing of the ship in most of the ports is depending which are called as tidal ports is depending on high water and low water timings so navigating officers are naturally they are making uh, this timings and the height of tide they are calculating and this timings are determined from the tide tables so tide tables are there so where tide timings are uh, predicted and height of tide is also predicted 
But let us see if you are a deck seaman, able seaman, or seaman helmsman, you are keeping a gangway watch as a sukhani or quartermaster. And if these tight timings you can know, you can estimate yourself, then you can attend to moorings without any big problem. You know what time the high water is about and what time is the low water. So you can tend to your moorings. So this is practical use for the seamen who are going to do uh, gangway duties or port duties in port. Okay. Now let us see engineers. Engineers when they are in port or they are going to transit through the river, the ship is transiting. Then if high water is there in port also, if the timing is known to the engineers, they can, they can estimate that when more water is going to be there, that is under keel clearance below and at what time they will have lesser water for the suction from the sea chest. So all these things can be calculated and they can be made in practical use. Another use for all the people, another use for all the people is suppose by chance you fall overboard and you fall overboard near the, uh, near your coast and you want to coast. So which is the best time is high water time because high water time current is flowing towards the coast and if you can estimate high water time, if you know that technique, it is going to be very, very uh, simple or useful to swing to the coast every six hours and then you can reach somehow to the coast. Okay. Very simple technique which I learned from the fishermen and the Gujarati seamen with whom I sailed and who are traditionally using this technique to know the tight timings when the high water is going to be there, when low water is going to be there and these are mostly fishermen and the sailors. And this technique when I was sailing on board the ships as captain or deck officer, I never used to open tide tables, never. Because even from my cabin, even if I am on bed also, I could make out or I could calculate what is the tide timings, when is the high water, when ship can berth, when ship can sail, when current will be more when transiting the river, all such type of things I could do without any help from any tide table or any navigating officer informing me. When I was captain, I never had to ask second officer that just give me tight timings, okay? Because I used to know approximate when is the high water and when is the low water. And the people sailing with me, they used to be always wondering that how this captain knows the tight timings without opening tight tables, okay? And I hear that this knowledge, simple technique, we may lose if we don't pass it from one sailor to other sailor. And that is why I am making this video. So that is why, that is the you know, motto of transferring knowledge and keeping it alive generations after generations. So tight timings are calculated with help of age of the moon. So age of the moon is what? The when moon is having the phases, phases of the moon and when is the new moon, when is Purnima, when is Amavasya, when is uh, new moon and full moon and when is first day, second day. So all such knowledge, many of the sailors, many of the sailors across the world, all of them they know because most of the religions they follow lunar calendar. Lunar calendar मतलब चांस से चलने वाला calendar सभी लोग use करते हैं majority of the seafarers तो उनको पता रहता है कि ये पूर्णिमा कभी है अमावस्या कभी है first day कभी है uh, total darkness night कभी है तो उसके सहारे you can calculate the tide timings let us see how we can calculate the tide timings
यहां से हम लोग शुरुआत करेंगे कि पूर्णिमा और फुल मून डे और अमावस्या इज न्यू मून डे सो फुल मून एंड न्यू मून सो एज ऑफ द मून इज 15 15 डे एवरी 15 डे यू विल हैव आइदर पूर्णिमा और अमावस्या सो so, 15 दिन का ये साइकिल है तो जब भी पूर्णिमा है तो इसको क्या करना है एज ऑफ द मून ये 15 है सपोज तो ये 15 को आपको खाली यू विल हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय 0.75 सेवन सो थ्री क्वार्टर उसमें से निकालना है थ्री क्वार्टर तो थ्री क्वार्टर ऑफ 15 इज 1115 और 2315 सो so, 1115 है तो 1115 इज हाई वाटर टाइम एंड दिस हाई वाटर टाइम यू कैन चेक विद द टाइड बुक्स यू मे फाइंड हाफ एन आवर हियर एंड देयर and why that half an hour immediately people will say oh to kya fayda hai iska half an hour to usme difference hai 45 minutes ka difference hai to wo kyon hai wo samajhne ki bahut bahut zaruri hai to wo timing isliye hai ki world over countries are keeping zone time and zone time will not be exactly matching with the longitude longitude or lmt local mean time ke sath zone time will not be adjusted so that is why that little whatever difference will come that difference will come otherwise these timings will be more or less aadha ghanta idhar udhar aapko match ho jayenge to ye hai high water time to 15 uska 3 quarter is 1115 so 1115 suppose today is purnima then 1115 is around high water time let ship be any part of the world sabhi jagah same same hai okay to 15 से पहले ही वाला दिन है 14. तो 14 का थ्री क्वार्टर इज 10:30, 13 का थ्री क्वार्टर इज 9:45. सो इफ टू डेज बिफोर आज सपोज पूर्णिमा था है तो दो दिन पहले 9:45 फोर्टी फाइव वॉज द हाई वॉटर टाइम एंड देन यू एड सिक्स अवर्स टू दैट एंड दैट विल बी लो वॉटर टाइम ओके आफ्टर पूर्णिमा और आफ्टर अमावस्या यू विल हैव वन डे दैट इज फर्स्ट डे एज ऑफ द मून इज वन एंड वन का थ्री क्वार्टर इज जीरो जीरो फोर फाइव सो जीरो जीरो फोर फाइव इज योर हाई वॉटर टूमोरो इफ पूर्णिमा इज टूडे और अमावस्या इज टूडे देन टूमोरोज हाई वॉटर टाइम इज जीरो जीरो फोर फाइव और ट्वेल्व फोर्टी फाइव वैसा ही इफ एज ऑफ द मून इज टू देन हाई वॉटर टाइम इज वन थर्टी so likewise all the 15 days you can keep on calculating the high water low water timings high water time ko 6 6 hours you add which will give you low water time again you add 6 hours that will give you high water time so this is very very simple technique which is used by the old traditional sailors and this even modern sailors also can use this technique only thing here height of tide you don't come to know and this time is little approximate it is not exact time of high water because of your zone time and local mean time difference okay so this with this simple technique all the people on ship or all the sailors can calculate the high water time of the day because ye knowledge to sabhi ke paas hai ki purnima kahan kabhi hai और अमावस्या कभी है सारे लोगों को यह नॉलेज रहता ही है और सारे लोग अपना अपना तिथि पंचांग अलमेनैक लेके शिप में चलते हैं मुझे मालूम है बहुत सारे सेलर्स ये पंचांग लेके आते हैं अलमेनैक लेके आते हैं तिथि लेके आते हैं और एज ऑफ मून बहुत सारे लोगों को पता रहता है so friends i hope that this information is very useful to you please make full use of this information carry it traditionally and hand it over to next generations of seafarers and if you have liked the video please like it share it with your colleagues share it with your seafarers and subscribe for the channel captain jog is signing off here